My name is Daniel Ashraf bin Sarwanwa. We from group 8. My group member is Muhammad Amir Irfan bin Roslan, Muhammad Amin bin Suleiman, and the lastly is Muhammad Yaisi Sazwi bin Muhammad Yusuf. We will present our interview session with Mr. Technologist IR Muhammad Izzah Ibrahim. For this project, we interview an engineer to discover how engineering may contribute to social growth. We interview Muhammad Aizal Ibrahim for this project. He's senior, he is a senior electrical executive if he is senior executive of Pradernas in Pengarang Johor. Experience as a consultant, contractor, service provider, manufacturer, and owner of in offshore and offshore project requiring electrical construction commissioning testing service and maintenance also develop substantial experience and abilities in project management from beginning to end we interview him to learn what he knows about engineering and his experience more than 40 years of progressive experience in the upstream, downstream, and midstream sector of the oil and gas industry in Malaysia and abroad have been amassed by Mr. Technologies IR Muhammad Iza Ibrahim, experience in handling 275 kV, 33 kV, 11 kV. 3.3 kV and 400V transmission system as well as low voltage system installation, testing and pre-commissioning among the largest electrical device. Handle are 11kV GTGs, 11k EDGs, 11k motors and 33 K G I S. Extensive experience as consultant, contractor, service provider, manufacturer, and owner in a wide range of offshore and onshore. Project requiring electrical construction, commissioning, testing, service, and maintenance, as well as extensive experience managing project from inception to final handoff. So that's all from me. I will pass to the next presentation. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Tamin bin Sulaiman. My matrix number is CE twenty zero 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 three, and I'm from Group Eight. And today I will explain a little bit about uh, the company background for Petronas Pengerang. Okay, Petronas Pengerang is PIC occupies about six thousand three hundred and three acres in a prime location in Southern Peninsula Malaysia. Well of major shipping routes. PIC is located within the larger Pengarang Integrated Petroleum Complex, an industrial development under the purview of Johor Petroleum Development Corporation Berhad, which is a government agency tasked with coordinating, facilitating and promoting the development of downstream oil and gas industries in the state of Johor. With a total area of 22,904 acres, the PIPC will be built out in four phases between 2012 and 2037. A plastic and fine chemical park, a light and medium industrial park, a waste management center, logical, logistical and commercial hubs are all part of the PIPC master plan. Next, I will explain about the question and answer response from the interview session. Okay, so first question is why did he enter the world of engineer? In high school, the panel decided to be an engineer or a doctor. As a doctor require a PhD and have a little interest in medicine, the panel then chose to emphasize engineering. The panel determined that he will graduate from a college as a professional engineer. Out of curiosity, the panel decides to become an electronic and electrical engineer as he asserted that he is competent in hands-on engineering work such as the creation of hobby kits. Next question is how do he balance the social and technical aspects of engineering in the field of work? Okay, so according to the panel, as an engineer, he needs to prioritize family and job. The challenge can come at any time, for instance, he receives calls at late at night. 
Therefore, he must balance work and family obligations. According to the panel, he strikes a balance between the social and technical by creating internship, seminar, and humanitarian campaign. When COVID-19 occurred, the panel indicated that they would visit nearby schools to maintain or repair electronic devices such as computers, in addition to participating in other activities similar to a stimulation malicious campaign. Next question is, as an engineer, how has engineering changed over the past year and how do you see this engineering field changing in future? So as a competent engineer, he projected that new electrical and electronic technology, particularly in digitalization, will enter the country in five years. The panel stated that electronic technology advanced annually. When people develop inventions that make life easier, technology evolve, thus innovative engineering will alter the future. Previously, the industry was unconcerned with energy conservation, but today they employ solar energy and the value of engineering will increase. The next question is, in this field of engineering, in your opinion, which field has the highest demand in the industry at present and in the future? According to the professional engineer, numerous engineering fields are in demand. First is microchip industry. Due to semiconductor supply concerns, electronic equipment production has decreased. As a result, the demand for microchip continues to rise, particularly among local businesses such as those in Pulau Pinang, which may increase production to meet demand. The sector is also transitioning from non-renewable to renewable sources of energy. Therefore, numerous uh, specialists are required to assist in the production of new energy. And that's all from me. Thank you. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Amin Ifan Biroslan. I will continue the another question for the interview session. So, for the uh, fifth question, what are the challenges faced in engineer as an engineer? So, the panel or professional engineer that we have interviewed say, uh, first, they must uh, uh, live and home and relative first, depend on their position and location. Engineer also can often work at offsite and uh, three to four months. Another uh, challenge is uh, the incident motor failure or exposure on the site to take to resolve and another challenges that have engineer face is um, finding the solution to take a long expected and refer to focus on their work uh, and also engineer do not force uh, to solve the problem and engineer must know when to stop working to have their healthy work life balance so uh, for uh, five question is engineer must uh, the challenges of engineer must balance their uh, work and their life social so for the another is uh, question is uh, can you give some word encouragement of the next generation who want to be enter the field of engineer and technology so the professional engineer say they suggest uh, students should be passionate about their topic and also students may uh, be patient what they have study. Uh, beside that, uh, engineer, engineer uh, students also suggest a seeking mentor to better understand the, what they have learned. And also uh, understanding the concept that had learned in theory. Uh, and the last one is uh, a student give a real world engineering experience and sense of accomplishment. So the next is uh, analysis and discussion. So as can we see is uh, the comparison between the uh, salary of the engineer in the world first, uh, the highest pay is a uh, chemical engineering or process engineer uh, the second is electrical engineer and the third is electronic uh, electronic engineer and four is mechanical engineer civil engineer in five and the last one is mining engineer 
So next is uh, analysis and discussion. Uh, the discussion first is uh, point one: student learn learning the uh, learn learn the in and out of engineering profession with the with an emphasis and electronic sector. Point two is we will be surrounded by people who will change us to grow and develop as well as those who will inspire us because engineer is a discipline that thrives on teamwork. And the last one is any inspired engineer has to be able to show the enthusiasm of their profession, maintain a constructive outlet and come a creative solution to challenge it. Thank you, that's Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Isas B. Muhammad My main case number is DE200016. Today, I'm going to talk about the completion of the interview with the senior engineer. Uh, so, for the conclusion, overall, we are able to do interview and learn more about being and becoming an engineer. We can interact efficiently with senior engineer of industrial, vocally, and writing the about the engineer challenge. Uh, when, and we acquire a range of information from the engineer person that we interview. We also complete our report. This is this interview can teach a student about being professional engineers. The panel will address the student question utilizing their expertise as a professional engineers, such as site project management and social element. When students graduate from the college, they may apply the interview expertise in industry. Finally, the student will learn industrial concepts including stress management, time management, and critical in thinking. This interview will reveal the student aim. This, this interview also, uh, this interview with engineer will inspire the student becoming one. The professional, the professional engineers will be industrial second most important and most accountable individual. Next, uh, I'm going to talk about the recommendation. Uh, so first of all, uh, the engineers is a smart career. Engineers are supposed to be et uh, ethical and honest. Uh, engineering affects everyone qualities of life. Engineer must follow a strict code of ethic. Uh, this subject should talk everywhere. Should talk everywhere, uh, especially engineer school. This course also aim to teach engineer skill that fulfill the responsible to people and environment to teach engineers ethic. Second, uh, student may learn. May, May I learn more depth about engineering field in this interview. This uh, this interview may also introduce student to the workspace. Student can ask the engineers uh, any uh, anything about engineering related question. Uh, student can also contact uh, engineers and develop the interview question and organize this session. Students are more responsive to information in the interview in person or online interviews uh, based on interview, interviews information. Last and foremost, uh, students can improve their knowledge, communication, and social skills during interviews. <clears throat> These skills are crucial for students in entering the professions. Engineer society social responsibility may be taught when creating when creating or building a device uh, or technology or constitutionist engineer must address societal, societal demands. Students are also encouraged to enroll uh, in career consolidation counseling uh, program in, to improve their engineering knowledge and capacity to perform to perform as licensed professionals, the student can also may arrange for students to tour to in industry to better comprehend it. That's all for me. 
Thank you for lending your ears.